Hi and welcome to my new manga haul video. This time we have the latest Japanese manga series of different genres, so it will be great if you can watch till the end of this video. If you're wondering, I got most of my mangas here from Anime Japan, and I used a proxy service to ship them to my house. Without further ado, let's start the video with a new manga called Idol Idol Story. It is a new manga that was released in 2023, and there are currently only two volumes available. This manga is being serialized on Fuse Comics from Hobuncha, which is the publisher of manga series like Pochi the Rock and Yuru Camp. I have actually read this first volume by the time of recording, and I love it. This manga is basically about an idol selection project like Produce 101. Or to put it in another way, think about Blue Lock, but idol. This is the logo of the idol project. If you're a fan of Yuri and cute girls doing cute things, you absolutely have to check out this manga. The author is the creator of New Game which has a pretty decent review. These two girls are the main characters of this series and they are like the Chisato and Takina of the idol world. Let's do a quick flip through of this volume. I love that we get some color pages at the start. The biggest reason why I picked up this manga is because of the artwork. I love how cute the characters look and how clean the art is. The story is also very interesting and I enjoy how the characters interact with each other and grow together as a result. There are also some incredibly funny moments in the manga and I recommend you to read it and experience it yourself. Super Starship, this is the name of the idol selection project. We get some beautiful bonus cards from Anime Japan. Aside from these small cards, we also get an A4 size bonus card, which is pretty rare. This illustration is absolutely gorgeous and it is drawn to celebrate the new year. You can see 2023 on their hands. The second volume was released in June and the cover design is quite different from the first volume. One thing I love about this mangaka is how great his fashion sense is and you can see it throughout the manga. It says here that Idol is survival, so it's a pretty serious story. You can see the 16 members from the Idol Selection Project. They have to try their best not to be eliminated and that's what makes this story so interesting. Again, we have a beautiful color page for this volume and <laughs> they are holding hands, oh my god. If you haven't read any Idol series before, I highly recommend you to start with Idol Idol Story. It is really interesting. We also get a very adorable Christmas art for volume 2. Next up, we have One Piece Volume 106. I have been an anime only for the longest time, but I'm planning to catch up with the manga soon. We have finally entered the Future Island arc, and honestly, I can't wait to read it. As usual, we have a really long message from Oda Sensei. By the way, you can let me know if you have watched the One Piece anime. The Gear Fist reveal was so stunning, and you should watch it if you haven't yet. Next up, we have Marriage Toxin Volume 5. You might recognize this manga if you follow my channel. I have made a video to introduce this manga before. We can only see Garo on this cover and he looks cool as heck. The story in the previous volume was really interesting as our main character was in a pretty difficult situation. The enemy was also crazy strong and I can't wait to see what's gonna happen next. Volume 6 will be coming in September and I'm definitely gonna get it. I am so surprised to see the recognition from Sae Hiyama here who is a really popular weather reporter in Japan and she is an otaku as well. This manga is a shonen action series with really impressive artwork and a unique concept. If you are looking for something fresh in the shonen genre, look no further than Marriage Toxin. We have less than 50 chapters for now, so it might be a good point to check out the manga if you haven't yet. Next up, we have the fourth volume of Kindergarten Wars. It is a comedy manga from Jump Plus that is really popular right now. The story is about ex-killers who are hired as kindergarten teachers to protect the children. As usual, we have a beauty filter on the inner cover, this time featuring our senpai. He is probably the most normal character in the story so far, and you can see how balanced his stats are. After reading 3 volumes of it, the story is actually deeper than I thought. There are mysteries around the kindergarten for them to find out, and the story starts to dive into the emotions of the characters. This panel seems really interesting, I can't wait to find out what's happening in this volume. Overall, it's a super interesting comedy manga. 
Because of the nature of this story, it's a quick read as well and we only have 4 volumes which is around 30 chapters. If you enjoy reading something like Spy Family, you might want to check this out. There are some really funny moments and some really cool action scenes. Next up, we have the 5th volume of The Classroom of a Black Cat and a Witch. It is from the same author who worked on Boarding School Juliet. I love that the mangas from Kodansha always come with plastics. This time we have Capella on the cover and she is a Capricorn Magic user. She is also the class leader and is one of my favorite characters in the story. There are some new characters for you to find out as well. On the inner cover we have the first sketch of the cover art, and to be honest I prefer this one over the current one. As you can see here, this manga is recommended by the author of Witch Hat Atelier, which I heard is phenomenal and is definitely on my reading list. The plot of this manga is getting more intense as our main characters meet face to face with the villains of the story and the previous volume ended at a cliffhanger. If you are a fan of fantasy stories that are more chill, I would highly recommend this manga to you. The story pacing so far is still quite slow, but I really enjoyed the impeccable artwork of this series. As usual, we get a bonus collaboration card with Boarding School Juliet. Next up, we have the final two volumes of Masamune Kun's Revenge New Edition, Volume 5 and 6. Kojuru is being featured on Volume 5 and I still cannot accept that he is a guy. I have said this before, but Thief's art is so beautiful that I would buy the manga just for the artwork. We get the cover art of Volume 9 and 10 of the original version here. As for the final volume, we have Masamune on the cover, with a t-shirt saying Revenge or Love, which I really like. Since the second season of the anime is airing right now, I will probably not read the manga unless there is a lot of cut content. We have the cover illustration for the final volume here, and the art is just too good. This will be a rom-com story that I won't forget in my life. Speaking of rom-com, we have Nisekoi Bunko version volume 3 and 4. They will release two new volumes every month, and as a fan of this manga, it is a must collect. As expected, we have Tsugumi on the third volume cover. And why is small Tsugumi so cute? A bonus postcard is also included in the first print featuring Tsugumi's art from another illustrator. You can follow them on Twitter if you're interested. For volume 4, we have Marika with the sly face. Oh my god, she looks so adorable here. This bonus card has a very shoujo art style, and I love that she is holding the key. Again, check out the artist's profile if you're interested. For information, there will be 16 volumes in total, so please get it if you are a fan of Nisekoi. Finally, this is not a manga but we have the first illustration book of Oshinoko. Ai Hoshino will go down in history as one of the most iconic anime characters of all time and Yukari Sensei's art captures her beauty perfectly. I love the pink and blue design of this art book. Except for this drawing, you might have seen most of the illustrations here because they were either posted on the mangas or on social media. Needless to say, the whole book is in Japanese and they also include the interviews with the creators. Even though there are not many new illustrations, seeing their art in such high quality printing feels amazing and I think you should definitely get it if you are a fan of Oshinoko. I'll do a quick flip through here so you can consider whether you want to buy it or not. The price is slightly more than 2000 yen which I think is very worth it. Well that's it for the manga haul this time. I hope you discovered something new. Let me know if you have any recommendations for me. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment and subscribe and feel free to check out my previous videos. Take care and bye.